Hey guys, it's me, Tommy, and I'm back with my first tutorial for my baby girl, Tamia. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys her hair routine, her wash routine. This routine is great for moms like myself who have little cute baby girls with patchy hair. And you're like, how do I style it? Well, this video is just for you, so let's just jump right into it. So I usually wash Tamiya's hair about every two to three days because I do put product in her hair. Um, I start her off with her bath and then after I give her her bath is when I actually start washing her hair. So these are the products that I'm going to be using in this video and I'm going to link everything below and optional if you want you can use some Jamaican black castor oil. This is what I use in her hair about once a week just to help with the growth. So starting off with the shampoo, I'm going to be using the Cetaphil Baby Wash and Shampoo. I actually got this as a sample um, when I did my baby registry through Amazon. I loved it so much that I went ahead and bought a big bottle. A little goes a long way, so I put about a pea size in my hand. I rub it together and then I lather it in her hair. Please be very gentle. Remember your baby's heads are still developing, so you don't want to be super rough. So I use my finger pads to release any product or buildup in her hair and I'm just gently massaging her head, just spreading that shampoo throughout. Once I'm done, then I'm gonna go ahead and rinse her hair. Um, I love that the shampoo is tear-free, so if any of the um, shampoo rolls in her face, she should be fine, but I'm still gentle when I'm rinsing the hair out, so I start off with the back first, and because your babies move around a lot, just be careful <laughs> when rinsing her hair <laughs> or their hair, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just fill this jug up to rinse the shampoo in the front. And I'm gonna use my hand to try to block um, from the water getting in her face. A little bit got on her face, but she was fine. I just didn't want too much to get into her face. And then once I'm rinsing um, the shampoo out, making sure that it's completely gone, I'm gonna follow up with my Kinky Curly Knot today. It's a great detangler for my type four hair, so I use it on hers. Again, just use a little pea size. I lather it in my hand, and then I'm gonna gently massage it into her hair, as well as finger detangle um, along the way. I really love this product also because it just makes her curls pop. Look at this, her curls are popping, okay. Okay, I see you, Tamiya. <laughs> so after um, putting the leave-in conditioner in her hair, I'm gonna take her out her bath, moisturize her, get her dressed, and now it's time to style. Moms, you know that you need to put that YouTube on, so I'm gonna put on that YouTube playlist to distract her while I go ahead and style her hair. So the first product I'm gonna put in her hair is this uh, coconut oil. So I'm using coconut oil as the oil for her hair. I'm gonna use this Shea Butter Make It Last Wash and Go Primer just to keep her style, um, set her style. And and then the Groger, and like I said, once a week I add some Jamaican black castor oil to her hair because it's super thick and I just don't want too much of that in her hair. So here we go, we're gonna start off with the coconut oil. I'm gonna gently add it to her hair, making sure that it's fully saturated and moisturized, and then also add it to the areas that's still trying to grow in. Now with this, if you're gonna do the Jamaican black castor oil, I would say just use just a little tiny bit. Just dip your hands in the Jamaican black castor oil and add it to the places where you want it to grow. Next, I'm gonna follow up with the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. I use that as her moisturizer um, along with the coconut oil. And then last but not least, I'm gonna use that Shea Moisture Primer. Like I said, this is what I'm using to set her hair so that her style lasts about a couple of days. Um, Tamiya sleeps pretty wild. She's a stomach sleeper, um, so she tends to sleep, you know, put her head from side to side. So um, that's the reason why I add just a little primer just to keep her hairstyle just looking a little bit good so I don't have to worry about styling it all the time. Next, I'm gonna use a baby brush to just gently um, brush the back of her hair and then I'm just gonna braid it. And if you can see, I'm not using any hair tools um, besides a brush and a comb. Um, I'm not using any rubber bands or anything like that. If your baby's hair is a little bit longer or you don't have a good grip like I do, I would suggest um, to, if you want to use a rubber band, to just dip it in some oil. That way it's not that damaging to their fragile hair that's just starting to grow. So with this hairstyle, I usually just do one little ponytail on the back because that's all I can do. And then the top is where it's growing the most. So I'm just going to put it in two pigtails today. I'm going to start with the roots and I'm just going to gather everything together into that one little ponytail. And then once I have all the hair in there, I'm going to start with the ends and work my way to the top to detangle the hair. Once I have my little batch together, I'm gonna go ahead and loosely braid it. And then when the end is uh, done, then I just wrap the little 
curly curly around you'll see what i'm talking about and then you guys can see the struggle <laughs> you're just trying to have the baby just 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 play with any toy in sight so that you can get the hairstyle done um this is in real time so you guys can see how fast i can make this hairstyle work for her um and it's really cute and simple um so I gave her the comb at first and I realized I should not have done that because there's product on it. So I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to give her her teeth and ring. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can see that I'm just braiding it loosely. And then after I'm done with that, I'm just going to just wrap the rest of the braid around to make it a little like a little bun sort of. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take the comb and just going to gently... Um, start at the roots just to gather everything together so that I have it into its little ponytail and then once I have the base together then I'm going to start from the ends and work my way to the roots to detangle it and then once it's detangled then I'm going to go ahead and braid the hair and then um, wrap the end piece around into a little pigtail again if you want to use any kind of like bobos or anything in their hair a rubber band um, especially with rubber bands like I said just be super gentle with it um, because their hair is really really fragile um, and you don't want your baby's hair to fall out listen edges matter edges matter so after braiding her hair then I'm just going to just neaten it up a little bit with her baby brush and that's basically the hairstyle that I usually do for her um, her grandmother um, does her hair as well too and we like to just braid it we don't like really putting rubber bands in her hair too much um, so we just braid it loosely. Um, we just want to do a nice, quick, simple hairstyle because I don't know about you if I'm the only mom that experienced this, um, but a lot of times my baby girl is confused as being a boy. Even though she's wearing pink and she has earrings, so styling her hair makes it a little bit girly. I mean, the rest of her hair is going to eventually grow in. She's only five months during recording that she's six months now, but it's going to grow in eventually. But this is a really cute, girly hairstyle. And also, it gets them into... Uh, training them into sitting down and getting their hair done so this is the little cute little hairstyle that i do for tamia hopefully you guys enjoyed her wash routine let me know if you guys have any questions below i will update her hair routine as her hair starts to grow in um and i think that's about it guys and then i'm just going to show you guys a clip um like i said she's six and a half months right now um it's just taking me a while to just edit my videos but anyway i'm going to show you guys what her hair looks like now as you can see that the sides are starting to grow in you see that the patch that we have is getting a little bit bigger the front is long enough now where we can braid it grandma did her hair today um so i'm just showing you guys that the castor oil has been working and as well as you know her hair eventually is going to grow in so if you want to use the castor oil, you can. If not, your baby's hair will eventually grow in. Anyway, I'm going to start rambling. This is the end of the video. If you have any questions, leave them below and check out these other videos and like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.